Yo, what's up guys, welcome back. So, um, the first results are in of, um, you know, the national championships from past weekend. We've had a couple of year over here in Europe. Um, again, the first place deck lists of those are up on YouTube. Um, you know, a couple of nationals around the world. So let's zoom in what, uh, you know, which results we have in, I guess, one of the, the first big tournaments right here in our new new uh, TCG format so is artifact side really a problem let's take a look um, is uh, <laughs> the anaconda how you know how big of an impact is that uh, here on our format so let's zoom in let's take a look um, again all the sources will be in the video description so definitely check them out like the you know in real life deck profiles the first one we have uh, first place of uh, the nationals in Sweden so um, any surprises? I don't think so. We have a couple of big decks and Sword Souls is of course one of those big decks. Um, some of the ratios, well, I mean, not that big of a surprise. I guess, you know, the, the, the full package of the 10e and not running the water one might be a small surprise, but he explains it in the video. Again, the link will be in the video description. While uh, other than that, it seems pretty... Um, Pretty staple for you know a tangy sword soul built with double vessel and double circle. Other than that, he uh, other than that he's not running the Helki package obviously because again no Aurora done, but he is running the Light Charmer and he was explaining it because of Nibiru. Uh, so that's a, that's a nice one. Definitely uh, dig that. But other than that, no surprises. Same for the side deck with triple anti spell, triple barrier, and red reboot. Pretty much all of them are almost stable. Same for Nibiru, Lightning Storm, Droplet. You know why. You definitely, in case of Lightning Storm and so on, you definitely want stuff against uh, mine or flow enderies, right? So. First place, a Swedish uh, national championship. Second place, or well, no, second tech list, we uh, go to Spain. So another kind of big country, a lot of good players here in Spain. Uh, over here in Spain, in Europe, but I'm from Belgium, as you know. Anyway, um, first place, and that was, a, that was a surprise, I'm honest. I definitely would not expect Flo and Reese to take it all, but it won. It won this particular nationals. And again, Spain is a good country, has a lot of good players. Um, so... It's something that you have to take into account. You can't, uh, you know, bypass floor injuries as a, as a fluke, right? That's definitely not the case. But Shifter, you know, we don't need to explain how powerful Shifter is. And as you know, floor injuries as a somewhat of an anti-meta deck, I guess, with M-Pen. Uh, Mystic Mine is also there, and obviously, as he explained in his live deck profile, again, link will be in the video description, the, the Harpy's Feather Storm in the extra, extra deck side deck. Uh, he calls it Ben Worthy, but I don't know, but it's it's um, it's a skill drain on... Uh, yeah, you know what you know, you know what I mean. The 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 the, the extra deck is not complete. I wasn't able to uh, take a look at uh, you, know, uh, the, you know get information about the last cards. But again, the live deck profile is in the video description. Um, another first place deck list here from uh, nationals over here in Europe uh, is from Austria. And again, uh, forty three uh, cards in the main deck being Elbus Fusion, Elbus Despia. Again, however you want to call the deck. Uh, some notable cards in the main deck. I guess is the tagged DD Crow, again, which he explains in the deck profile live on YouTube. Again, link in the video description. Triple cross out. Uh, strong, obviously, against hand traps, but of, of course, strong in like mirror match. Plus, triple, um, you know, the fusion spell. So, uh, other than that, it seems pretty self explanatory. The Fairy Tale Snow, I like it. Uh, especially, you know, it's a very versatile card. Offensive and defensive, right? But. I mean, three very big lists. If you're uh, if you're doubting which deck to play at your nationals during the upcoming weeks slash weekends, these are definitely uh, you know up there to either play or side deck against or main deck against. Uh, a couple of um, interesting lists. This is uh, the first place deck list uh, from uh, Bolivia, and I was like, what is this? This is like a, a warrior toolbox featuring Tyrion. You know, I don't know what, what to call it. It kind of feels like um, Infernable Knights, but without Aurora Dawn. And I'm honest, I would not expect or... Uh, no, I would not expect to see, um, you know, f Fire Deck, Fire Warriors to get these results without Aurora Dawn. You know how strong that is, Free Charles and so on. So it's, it's, it's intriguing. Uh, 60 card deck. 
<laughs> no clue, no clue how to call this one. But again, intriguing first place. And this, um, I'm honest, did it caught my attention? Yes and no. We saw that uh, past week, whenever uh, you know our ban list got revealed, we saw more people uh, playing Cell at Cellman grades. Obviously, they got back, you know, circle to three, but Gazelle is still at one, and that that's pretty big still. But this is first place uh, Ecuador, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, so any notable surprises outside maybe the troll, triple troll unlock. Um, that's an iffy, that's a cool one. Uh, triple crow, again an up, can I say an upcoming hand trap? Not really, but you know what you know what I mean. Next to Ash, uh, failure of course. So, uh, any surprises? No, not really. The, the deck got heat sold, so it's there. You know, the pot of greed during both uh, the upstart, but it's basically a pot of greed um, every two turns. Anyway, so um, some extra deck lists. Uh, this is the first place deck list of um, uh, El Salvador, if I'm not mistaken. Again, links will be in the video description. Any surprises? I guess the small Eltlish package. Package. Small Eltlish package. Uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Featuring Envoked, featuring Elbas. Super Poly is a strong card. I mean, it's at three. Kind of feels strange, right? Triple Super Poly. Might be a card that whenever we get our next ban list, might. Go back to two, maybe one, maybe banned, who knows. But uh, first place, El Salvador. Let's continue. Uh, regionals this time. And uh, this should be indeed uh, Chansey uh, uh, Wigglestove. I hope I pronounced your name right, right, Squiddy? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, first place. And I like Tribricate, especially because you can now tag that small... Um, um, well, Elbus package, I can call it like that, right? Uh, I like it, I, I definitely like it. Again, triple DD Crow, and that's definitely one of the strengths. You can search your, or at least you can search an early DD Crow, right? Again, strong against a lot of top tier decks currently. So, probably one of the reasons why it did so well. Obviously, look at the side deck, triple barrier, triple anti spell. Again, those powerful floodgates nowadays in this current format. Second place of the same regionals, we have a, a deck that. I guess could be an underdog if you know how to play the deck, um, if you're familiar with the deck. But it's not really a deck that you would pick, let's say, compared to Sword Soul or Despia. So Ignister, but again, it's something to keep in mind, right? Ignister, second place. Another deck that caught my attention and uh, it's gaining popularity. We've seen it popping up in, in tournaments past weekend, but uh, this is one example, top 8 of uh, the Pasadena Regional by, by Pete. Okay, we know Pete. Um, and of course, I mean, Sun Avalon, I still need to try out the deck whenever it was released like years ago, right? But it's definitely gaining potential with uh, Therions, with um, the uh, Naturia package, if I'm not, well, Naturia package. You know, it's plant top deck. Uh, so intriguing. Can I call it plant links? Maybe. Uh, so almost there. This is a deck that. that uh, I guess got, uh, however, how can I say it? Like, it's a, it's a good deck, but I feel it's a bit brick heavy, might. Uh, and then again, the, the, the ceiling of the deck is quite high. You know how ABC theory on works. Here and there, people are running indeed the adventure package in the main deck as well. But um, it's really scary because it's super consistent at the same time, but sometimes you might brick off like only normal summoning A, B or C and, and pass. But other than that, the deck is super combo oriented and it's something I definitely want to try out as well soon in the near future. And then last, uh, should be the same regionals, first place in other Flow and the Reese deck. No surprises, I think, other than Dark Ruler and Triple Lightning Storm in the main deck. So, uh, we have a lot of diversity, a lot of different decks. Um, for me, for us in, here in Europe, we have our Belgian National Championship the upcoming weekend. So, I'm definitely looking at, you know, the, the first deck list here in the video, like Sword Soul, Despia, Elbus. Uh, Flow and Reese, something not to underestimate, like uh, Trap Heavy or Eldritch Dot deck. Um, and then, you know, some small rogue decks, maybe Sun Avalon, uh, Therion, Sky Striker, ABC, uh, stuff like that. Maybe Tri Brigade Salads, definitely. But um, it's a little bit all over the place, but I think this could, you know, give you more information of what you could expect, what you should side deck against if you still need to play your nationals. Um, you know, in the upcoming weeks. Okay, hopefully this was helpful. Again, all the links will be in the video description. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like. If you enjoyed the video, leave him signing out. Peace.